Okay, so now you can see that I've already vacuum sealed my precious flower. Um, I personally chose to use uh, sprouted organic flower, but if you just want to use unbleached, which is a lot more affordable and easier to find, I would suggest you do that. Just try not to use the bleached flower. So now I'm going to repackage it into food containers. Okay, so I'm going to take a dribble, a little bit of a dab, in fact, I think I know what's going on here. Okay, so I'm going to just slightly wet this, wipe the, the, the surface. I've already poured out whatever residue of flour is in there. And then after that, it dries, I'm going to repackage it. I'm going to do this to this bucket and the other bucket. I'm going to use two square buckets because of the corners of the packaging, uh, uh, packaged flour that basically I vacuum sealed. Uh, they don't come round, so this would be the best way to use a square bucket like this. Okay. So first, I'm opening up a bucket, which is where I store basically my supplies, right? So this is where I store my air, um, I forget, absorbers. And I have a big giant bag. Oh, great. I think I have to do that, right? A big giant bag of bay leaves, okay? So typically, I'll just pour some of these bay leaves in another bag to use it exclusively for packaging and then I will uh, as you can see see I got it from bulk food and if you could see bay leaves right so now I'm going to just steal a little bit from it and repackage and just put it away and so I'm going to put away my my oops I forgot to put the air absorbers away so now I'm going to put this stuff away because I've already uh, taken what I need it, right? So I drop this in the water. Just drying it up. You could even keep it open until it wets up. So just so you, you can see, this is my bucket supply for repackaging, okay? So now that this bucket has been dry, cleaned and dried, I will start to put some bay leaves in the bottom and as I package, I'm going to drop more bay leaves. Because bay leaves just happen to keep... Um, I wish I just weren't curled like it is. Bay leaves just happen to keep uh, parasites away. So the food could last longer. And I'm just going to put a couple of bay leaves around here too. And two 
uh, rectangular buckets seem to be doing the trick. Okay. Had it been powder, it would have been even better, but the fact is we want to protect it so it could last for many years. Okay. And since we're anticipating a possible disaster, but I believe God's going to keep me no matter what. Faith is most important. Okay. Uh, it's just good to be prepared. Not only that, but it's going to force me to eat something that's really good for me. Because this is not found in the stores. This is sprouted millet. Uh, I'm not sure it's sprouted millet. I don't have the tag with me right now. But... So these things seal pretty good, but whenever in doubt, little hammer, little hammer won't, won't hurt, right? Little hammer to the corners. Okay. Oh, it's not. Okay. I don't know what's going on. It's not sealing. These aren't the best buckets. Uh... The buckets that I went out to buy, which caused me an accident, which caused me to have TMJ for over a year, <laughs> happened to be the worst of them all. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is a buttercream one. So, I don't know. Anyway, the stuff is sealed. I don't know why. Over here. It's just not... It's not clicking. But anyway, I'm going to have heavy stuff over this. I'll be sure to keep this in the bottom. So, oops, you saw my sink. <laughs> well, what can I say, right? I'm not going to have a tidy house when I'm packaging. Right? And I do recycle my drinking bottled waters. I don't use plastic. So here I'm pouring some bay leaves as well. What's left of it. And uh, so I'm going to package this. It's not... Okay, so I found the lid. I don't know if this was left recording, if it was unattended. What you see here is vacuum-packed flour in a paper bag uh, to protect the powder from being sucked up through the vacuum, clean, vacuum sealer. And so this is my second container. Oh. Boy. Well, these aren't the best. The round buckets are the better ones if anybody ever wants to know. They're the better ones. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Everything is uh, vacuum packed. I put bay leaves in it. Um, I got this bucket from my grocery store. Oh, hold on a second. I'm trying not to show you the messy house that I have, but it is what it is, right? So I got the buttercream bucket from uh, the bakery department in the supermarket. And I got lots of other better buckets that were round. I have plenty of those. Those are sturdy. They seal very, very tightly. And um, I think those are far more reliable than this. But anyway, I have vacuum sealed flour in here. Finally, I'm done with this project. Thank you. And I hope this has served as an inspiration for everyone. Thank you. Bye.